Hello my guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Scarlet Witch Angel here, and I am going to do my review of my uh, August uh, Ipsy bag today. Um, so I guess I will just get started on it then. Um, the first thing I would like to give my review of is the uh, Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek and Work. Um, it's a really nice little it's an it's a nice uh product for sure um i did not try this i did not actually try this on my uh cheeks but i definitely did it on my lips it's definitely a uh it's definitely very close to my own lip color so it is somewhat of an mlbb for me um i actually did like it 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 wasn't it wasn't bad at all i actually I actually, um, th th this was actually nice to use. It was very smooth. It wasn't, it didn't overly dry my lips or anything, and, um, I actually really liked it. Um, I have used a different milk product before, and, um, this is definitely a, um, this definitely, uh, still holds the bar up. Um, this is, this was what, was called a deluxe sample uh, a um, full size of this um, this is this is about six grams so a full size of this is 28 grams so you know a decent size larger I've, I've actually seen what full sizes look like um, and the price for this is $28 it is going to be a little bit on the higher end, um, but I mean these these when done correctly will last you a long while. Like literally, the only reason why I actually got rid of the other item that I had had at, from milk before was because it literally, like I literally could not, I personally could not use all of the product before the date ran out and it's about what is it it's 12 months and there was so much product and the thing is is you also have to keep in mind I was not even a even when even before uh, COVID happened I was not really able to wear much makeup while I was at work and even um, but I mean at the same time you know I was also doing cosplay and whatnot so yeah but at the same time uh, I was not able to use it fast enough, so, um, I had to basically toss the product, but the product, their products are actually good as far as I, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, for $28, uh, a larger milk product, um, like I said, it's a little on the price, it's a little on the higher end side, but at the same time, it's a good product. Um, like I said, I mostly only just use this on my lips, but, uh, anybody who wants to use this on their lips and their cheeks, or just on their cheeks, um, go for it. So, have fun with that. The next item that I have is the Mind Tan Rapid Recovery, uh, Moisturizing Lotion. Um, honestly, I didn't really notice too much of a difference from any other moisturizing lotions that I've gotten in the past. Um, it basically does about uh, the same as anything else. Um, I can't say yay or nay on this. Um, however, for however, when it comes to the price, I mean, I mean, maybe I might say. I might say more nay than yay, but this is just me, um, because like I said, it doesn't, I, I didn't notice a terrible amount of difference from any other moisturizer I've had, so, uh, for this product at $32.95, which is basically like 33 bucks, um, honestly, if you want to buy it, you can. But it's just another moisturizing lotion. Um, I 
I honestly didn't notice a huge difference from when I was using it to when I wasn't using it. So, um, there's that. All right, next one is the Balm Cosmetics Liquid Lid Quid Sparkling Liquid Eyeshadow in Rosé. Now, I used this a couple times, um, and I mean the color is the color and the sparkle is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, it's good, and I was honestly surprised at. I was honestly uh, surprised at um, the fact that the glitter in it was not as big as I thought, because um, I was honestly thinking that it, from what I was seeing, you know, I, I was thinking, oh, you know, the um, the the glitter was going to be huge, but it's actually rather small. That being said. Um, it did my, uh, North, and here's the thing, normally when I wear eyeshadow, I don't notice, uh, I don't often get the feeling of my eyes being tired or heavy or anything. Um, when I was wearing this, I did notice that I was, I n did notice that my eyes were getting very, very tired, um, like, I was constantly, like, wanting to shut them to rest them, because I, I, I felt them, like, it, it, it might, it might be some sort of reaction for me to something in this, what, I don't know, um, sometimes it will happen with glitter, sometimes it won't, um, Perhaps maybe it's like the formula or something. I don't know. Um, it's definitely a good color. Um, like I said, it's good. It's a good color. Uh, the glitter isn't too huge. Um, that being said, I don't necessarily like the fact that um, glitter is used in this, due to the fact that, um, due just due to the fact that you know our world is in shit as it is, and adding glitter to it is making it worse. Um, the only way to actually fix that is to use biodegradable glitter, um, but very, very few companies actually use that, so just saying. Um, but I mean, like, it, it's, it, it's a good product. Um, and for how much it is, I mean, if you want to get it, you can. It, like I said, it's decent. It's not necessarily, I probably won't necessarily get it again myself, but, um, it, it's a nice product. Um, the, uh, this is considered a deluxe sample at, uh, 1.8 milliliters. The full size version is 4.5, so you know it's a it's a it's a stick. It, it's a it's a stick uh, eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow, and it's at fourteen dollars. And um, like I said, if you feel like you want to get something like this, you know, feel free. It's not a bad product. Um, I just probably won't get it uh, if I ever come across it. So. Um, but at the same time, I mean, again, you know, to eat, um, this is just my opinion, as I've stated multiple times before, so it's up to you to make your decision on that. Um, my next item is the Farrah Medium Angled Shading 55E Rosé Gold Collection Brush. Um, this like the other Farrah brush or brushes that I've gotten before has been a really nice, has been a really nice, uh, use. It's been really soft. It's treated my skin well. Um, it doesn't feel too rough when I'm trying to put it on, put anything on. Um, I enjoy using it. I am, I enjoy all the Farrah brushes that I've gotten so far. Um, and you know, it's, and just the fact that, you know, it has the little message on the back of Be Beautiful, Be You, 
Um, I mean, that's just honestly like a little bit of a bonus. So I definitely like this brush. This is a full size and you can find it for $12. Um, and I mean, you'll find, you'll be finding a lot of like the better, you know, higher end sort of, well, I say higher end, you know, some of the, um, better brushes at more expensive prices. I'm not going, I'm not saying that something like e.l.f. isn't a good brush, but like better quality brushes, uh, you'll find in the like double digit range. So, um, you know, it's, it, so the, this is actually, this is a very good brush. I've enjoyed using it. Um, and I, and I could actually recommend it. And like I said, for $12, that's not a broad price. And the last item for today is the Beauty For Real Eyeline 24-7 Waterproof Eyeliner in Olive. This color is actually really, really nice, especially if you're wanting to go for a more, for a more natural eye look. Be well, and especially for someone of my skin tone. Um, because the thing is, is it's not overly, it's not as overly dramatic as black, but it's not terribly 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 plain like brown because let's be honest um brown can be a little eh uh but black can be really too much sometimes so if you're going from a more like natural look definitely i like the i like the olive color it's um it's actually very neutral um well i say neutral <laughs> it's a it's a dark it, it's a dark green but, I mean, it doesn't stick out horribly, obviously, because it's, it's, it's dark enough that, yes, it could pass for black, but it's not overbearingly, like, eye-shockingly black. Um, I, th this was actually a really nice color, um, for sure, that, um, if I were to find it, I might actually purchase, repurchase something like this. This is, it's, it's an, it's a very nice color. And also it's really, really smooth to put on. Um, it didn't break when I tried to put it on because I've actually had several, um, I've had several eyeliner pencils that are in, like, that are in this style where it's like retractable and whatnot. I've actually had several eyeliner pencils that would actually, um, that would actually break on me. And this was one of the first ones that actually didn't break on me like immediately. So I did like that about this. Uh, this is actually a full size and it goes for $16. Um, I, for, I could most likely recommend this, recommend this, um, because it, it, like I said, it is a nice color. It is not overbearing. It, it is dark, but it's not black. Um, and it's just overall just a nice feel for it. Um, so for, uh, anyone who's looking for something that's not quite black but will definitely do pretty much about the same job I could definitely recommend this color as well as this brand because again this didn't fall this didn't break on me when I was trying to put it on so um that is that for sure so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a little while with my uh, opening of my, uh, I was about to say my October Ipsy bag. It's not that soon yet uh, for my, uh, September Ipsy bag. So, later guys! <laughs>